I know a lot of people have asked about Rula Jabril. Um, I think, uh, you know, Sam's spoken about it. I've spoken about it. Uh, and, and I want to say, I think Hayes uh, continues for a, a television uh, to actually be doing overall a very good job talking about these issues and really elevating uh, some of these broad principles of human rights and humanitarian concern. Um, but Rula Jabril's point generally, not only about this issue, but about what genuine diversity is in media is very important. I mean, as an example, not only are we talking, she's talking about Arab Muslim voices. That's vital. I want to know why on a Morning Joe panel, as an example, or why anytime there's some endless conversation about the need to slash the American social safety net, when are we going to start having real people on panel shows who have real budgets and real challenges in their life? I mean, if we understand on some level that it's, and we still fail at this all the time, but we understand on some level that women need to be represented, that African Americans need to be represented, that Latinos need to be represented. Well, we need to, and, and gay and lesbian and transgender communities. Well, we need to have Muslim and Arab voices represented. We need to have uh, poor voices represented. But Rula Jabril is on Fox News talking with Geraldo Rivera. Uh, and what I like about this clip is that they've clearly, they're just going with, she trashed MSNBC. She'll come on here and this will just be a little bit of uh, cable news point settling. Um, but she has uh, she's also on, I believe it's with Mort Zuckerman uh, and Geraldo Rivera. <laughs> and uh, she she has uh, uh, because Rula Jabril is actually committed to these issues and committed to her journalism. She actually has a little bit of a bigger point to make. So let's play the sound. You made a statement there, a very bold and, and powerful statement on MSNBC that the media was biased against the Palestinians in favor of Israel, which is it? Well, it's very simple. Look at uh, not only how much airtime we give Israeli officials versus Palestinian officials. Without challenging Israeli position, not on their narrative, without challenging them on the failing policies, there's not two questions that have been asked. One is about what do you want to do with the Palestinian majority that are living in the West Bank and Gaza? How do you, would you accept eventually to cop? demilitarization with the occupation that the way to eliminate extremism is by giving the aspiration of Palestinians for dignity and a better life and a sovereign state this is the way to go what we are not being able to do as media is to detach a little bit to be less emotional and I understand your wife there are some very strong views on all sides of the issue I think we call it democracy I don't know it's just a Positive. strange word to use it's called freedom of the press so while Rula Jabril is making a vital point about openness in media and a rational, even-handed, broad, and complex conversation of issues that not only have profound human rights consequences, they also have some implications for, incidentally, American national security, uh, Mort Zuckerman uh, condescends to her in the opposite way that someone like him would usually condescend by saying, well, this is actually a really emotional issue. Maybe also forgetting the fact that Rula Jabril actually is, um, you know, he's Jewish, he has a connection to it. She's Palestinian, she has a connection to it. Maybe it's emotional for her as well. Let's play the clip. Keep playing it. But the, you have to trust where, that the American public or whoever is the public is going to make up their own minds on the basis of le, le, learning and reading and watching for both sides of the issue. This is the way our system works, and uh, I happen to like it. Others may not like it. Uh, it just seems to me this is something that uh, those of us in the media have to do our best to be as fair-minded as possible. Let's look about one thing, which is how many people here on Fox News do you have that are from Arab descent? I don't know. Um, I, I, I'll I tell you, it. zero. And this is what we're lacking. This is the narrative that's been, that I think was never told, the story of people that lived for 45 years under military occupation and have one dream, to have a sovereign state or to live with dignity, without the soldiers telling them where to go and what to do. This is only one dream. And if we don't manage to solve that issue and their aspiration, we will give them and we'll leave them in the hand of extremists. And this is my concern and my fear. If we don't question policies, extremists win. More so she's absolutely right about the policy consequences of what's happening in Palestine, and she's absolutely right about the journalistic question. And she's shown that this was not about MSNBC. This isn't about her and self-promotion. It's about making a fundamental point about who's represented on these issues and the frames and the stories and the narratives we have around these issues. And I'd add to this, 
having people from poor backgrounds and many different experiences when you talk endlessly about slashing Social Security and Medicare or Paul Ryan's latest ludicrous plans on poverty. We need to hear from everyone, and Rula Jabril is there showing that this is a bigger issue for her. Um, and uh, it was very well done. I appreciated that a lot. <laughs>